Meet Craig McNamara, who's owned Sierra Orchards in Winters, California for three decades. It's, it's a career, it's a passion, it's um, something that I would never have done differently. I love what I do. Nothing goes to waste here at McNamara's Walnut Orchard, particularly when it comes to water. The water for this orchard comes from Puta Creek. The water then feeds the orchards through an efficient drip irrigation system. Once again, McNamara makes sure nothing goes to waste by capturing any leftover water in this tailwater recovery pond. It not only provides a habitat for birds and native frogs, but reduces silt and runoff into the creek. It really is truly some of the richest soil anywhere in this great uh, planet of ours. Conservation has to be a critical part of what we're doing on the farm and what we're doing as citizens of California. Drip is the way to do it. When you go from furrow to sprinkler, you're reducing your water in half. When you go from sprinkler to drip, you're reducing it again in a half. So from furrow to drip, you've really made a significant water saving. But for many farmers, the price tag on these innovative water management practices is too high. McNamara made it work with the help of federal dollars in the form of matching funds. I don't think that uh, we as a, as, as a society of farmers um, who are frequently so strapped when it comes to the bottom line can do it on our own. These conservation programs only account for about 5% of the Farm Bill budget and currently face cuts which could limit smart water management options, particularly in dry California. We need to increase funding across the United States for farmers to enter these programs. It's our taxpayer money, and it's the best use that we can possibly expect. As a taxpayer, I'm, it's the best thing I think my taxes can go towards. It's a long-term conservation of our food supply. Craig McNamara has been leading the way in conservation practices because he says it's more than good business. It's life itself. This is the only way. If we're not mindful uh, and good stewards of our water, our air, and our land, quite frankly, we just won't have it.